Set up in 2006, the MSF project for reconstructive surgery in Amman has been providing advanced surgical care for adults and children, all of whom were severely wounded during the unrest across the Arab region. At this project, they receive specialized surgical care as well as physiotherapy and psychosocial support. Since August 2006, more than 3,700 patients from Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Gaza, Egypt and Libya have been treated. Nine years later, MSF decided to enhance the capacity of the project by moving into a new hospital structure to better cope with the demand resulting from the continuing unrest in neighboring countries. The main objective of the move to the new hospital, Al Moissa Hospital, is to, uh, is, is to increase our medical capacity and to improve the quality of the care we provide to our, to our patients here in, the, in, in Amman. After months of intensive work, the new MSF Hospital for Specialized Reconstructive Surgery is ready to run. Renovation and construction work were ongoing at the 8th floor 150-bit hospital for six months. We remove all the tiles while we will do all the maintenance work. So there is a electromechanical, all the central AC, they change the fan call unit, they remove everything. They will clean everything and they redo all the plumbing, the pipes. The final result was a brand new structure that meets the highest standards down to the smallest details, providing the most suitable environment for patients' recovery and rehabilitation project will continue to provide the same surgical specialties, orthopedic, plastic and maxillofacial. Now we are operating in a big OT rooms, big uh, OT also, so uh, good facilities and uh, we feel the difference. Nahla is a 22-year-old Iraqi mother from Kirkuk who was severely injured when a car bomb exploded in a market. She's now settling in her new room at the new hospital. She was admitted to the Amman Hospital in 2013 for her first surgery and has had 24 surgeries since then. This project has become a regional surgical platform due to the diverse origins of the patients it treats. This hospital is not only a place for rebuilding patients' bodies, it's also a place for rebuilding their lives as individuals, one patient at a time.